What does it feel like to live a high performance lifestyle? It's the ongoing feeling of full engagement, joy, and confidence that comes from, there's that C word again, consistently living from your best self. So let's break it down a little bit. Full engagement, joy, and confidence. How am I doing with you right here in this moment? Full engagement, joy, and confidence. How am I doing at demonstrating that with the bring to joy hoodie? <laughs> Rocking it out with you. That confidence, not cockiness, but confidence. The competence that connects to confidence about how we approach our lives. How we approach living life from our best self consistently. Does that all make sense? So if you want a quick exercise to do, and this is where a lot of people start as they begin their journey in personal development, self-improvement, and even high-performance coaching, is they get a one piece of paper out and they write down my best self. And sometimes they have to put another piece of paper out. It's going to be very helpful because they're not sure. Like, what would be my best self? If I was going to go and live my best self, I don't even know how I would define that. What are the traits, qualities, and characteristics? So what they do, and this is something I facilitate and help them with sometimes, is they create another sheet, my worst self. And these are the things, one item per line, that I'm doing that just, you know, maybe not the worst, but they're just not good. Or they could be better, right? And for every line you put here, you put a converse, a contrasting line on the best self piece. So for example, if we were to go back in time into the 90s, 1990s, it feels like years ago, call me Grandpa Charlie, <laughs> and we put down drinking Mountain Dew every day, eight, well, three to eight 20 ounce Mountain Dews every day. I had my team and my business trained to bring me Mountain Dews, like just one after another after another. That would be my not so best self. My best self would be hydrating with beautiful water. And it's a big part of high performance principle. Take those drinks. If you're not grabbing your water right now, or don't have it within arm's reach, we might have an issue. Because that's a part of our best self. Does that all make sense? So I just want to kind of paint the frame for a real simple example. Again, if you do that exercise, watch out. Right out of the gate here in the first 10 minutes of our time together, two really critical things that people have self-reported, especially those new to personal development and self-improvement that have helped them get that forward momentum and just feel better, to feel more engaged, maybe a little more joyful and a little more confident, but they're doing the right things. So I don't know what it is for you, but I do know this. Take some time, journal, my best self is, create that, what I like to call that system operating guide of you. If you're a systems person like I am, like that's how I've built businesses over the years, there's just behavioral rhythms or habits that we've got to put into play. And we'll talk more about that as we get into today's session work that really help us be better for ourselves, for those we care for, love, serve, support, and the world, you know? So I'd love to hear, comment below, what is it so far that's stirred up for you? And maybe one thing you're committed to, whatever that would be for you.